Hello. So in today's video, I wanted to show you exactly how I build an outfit. I talk a lot about tips and tricks and things you can do to improve your own personal style, but I don't think I've ever really shown you how exactly I put outfits together and how I do that keeping my three style words in mind. So in today's video, that's exactly what we're gonna do. My three style words I recently came to the conclusion are minimal, sporty, and sharp. And I actually did that alongside Alison Bornstein, the creator of the three word method herself, helped me figure out my three words. You wanna see the full unedited call and styling session that we had, you can check out my Patreon. I'll leave it all down below. So keeping that in mind, I'm gonna show you exactly how I use my three style words to create outfits and how I can kind of like dial up and dial down those style words to create a certain mood that I want to feel. And I think it's a really fun skill to develop, especially once you discover your own three words. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do it myself. And I really quickly want to thank Lily Silk for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to be styling a few pieces from their spring collection that they sent me to demonstrate some of my points. You know, I've been working with Lily Silk for a long time. I find their pieces really luxurious, high quality, quite timeless, and they kind of repeat styles over and over again, which I actually like because you know that they kind of lean into their classics and they know what works for them. And to me, it just kind of reflects a little bit more of a slower fashion mindset when you see their pieces kind of come back every single season. I love that they use majority natural fibers in their pieces. So like 100% mulberry silk, they use Mongolian cashmere, merino wool. So it's all really nice and breathable and it's gonna feel great on the skin. And they also carry things like pajamas, silk pillowcases, and they even use their dead stock and leftover silk to create things like scrunchies, eye masks, so nothing really goes to waste. So thank you so much to Lily Silk for sponsoring today's video. I will leave all the pieces that I'm wearing linked down below, and if you wanted to get a little bit of a discount, and I'll leave everything you need in the description. With this first outfit, honestly, I could take it as a work from home outfit. It could be a summer outfit, and depending on the shoe and accessories that I choose, you could really dress it up or dress it down. But the first thing I wanted to think about was comfort. So I started with these silk pants from Lily Silk. These are actually pajama pants, but I think they are chic enough that you can actually wear them out. And one of the trends I've been seeing kind of since last year, but I'm seeing it more into this year as well, are silk pants. So there's a principle I like to use when it comes to getting dressed called big slim skin and it's essentially how to create balance if your outfit is feeling out of balance or too much in one direction. And that's essentially combining a big element, so something that's got more volume, maybe it's oversized, it's a wide leg, it's more flowy. Combine that with a slim element. So in this case, I've got this tube top here, which kind of hugs me close to my body, but that can also be in something like a slimmer shoe, a slimmer bag, a slim pair of sunglasses, slim belt. Just take a slim element somewhere to combine it with the big and then showing some skin. I'm not gonna leave my outfit like this, maybe if I was lounging around the house, but I want a layer here. And when it comes to my three words, right now I feel like I'm definitely leaning into the minimal. It doesn't feel too, too sporty, like I'm not wearing track pants or a track jacket, but sometimes I can take the word sporty and use it to add a little bit of like chill or relaxation to my look, which I think is being shown here in the pants. But now I wanna add something that feels a little bit more sharp and put together. And it's that sharpness that I find helps me feel a little bit more polished because my style is so relaxed otherwise. So I'm gonna take this blazer with some pretty prominent shoulder pads and it is a little bit oversized. So we now have my sharp element, but in terms of big slim skin, right now we're kind of going big slim big. So to show some skin here, I'm just going to roll up the sleeves. So now we have the sharp in terms of my three words and we have big slim skin balancing out this proportion. So when it comes to a shoe, I feel like you can really go in any direction. And one tool I really like to use is something called the wrong shoe theory. So this was coined by Alison Bornstein and it's essentially taking the opposite of what you would expect the outfit to be. Because these pants are so silky, flowy, a little bit luxurious, I think the wrong shoe here could either be something kind of chunky and dorky like a loafer or I'll take something that leans into my three words. So I might choose something like a pointed toe shoe or a ballet flat. So I have these loafers here from Flattered, but they're kind of dorky, kind of nerdy. I love this little like 
tassel on them. So we can try that. Or I've got these Mary Jane ballet flats. They do have kind of a bit of a point here. I like the square edge on them too. It feels a little bit modern, but these are a lot more sleek and minimal, which I think definitely leans into my three words. So we'll see how that feels too. You know what? I'm not mad at the loafer. I kind of really like that. It's kind of dorky and a little bit ironic with a pair of silk pants because it's, it's, you know, they're made of leather. They're a bit harder, but I do kind of, I like the ballet flat a little bit more. Yeah, I think with these we're kind of getting here, but they still feel a little bit sweet to me with the Mary Jane front. So I think I want something even sharper. So I'm gonna try these secondhand babies that I got. But yeah, I really like that. I think that's really cool. I'm really liking the idea of sharp to contrast against these trousers. These trousers are kind of like the hero of the outfit. So I'm really going to use sharp descriptors to kind of complement the outfit. So I have this more structured bag from Songmon. It has some nice geometric shape to it. So I really kind of like that. Okay, so with this next outfit, jeans and a t-shirt, it's part of my base uniform, base layer. But this feels a little flat, and whenever I wear like a black t-shirt and jeans, I often end up feeling a little bit like Julian from Trailer Park Boys. So I want to dress this up a little bit. So one thing I have been trying to wear a bit more of are cardigans. So I chose this cardigan from Lily Silk to experiment a little bit. I kind of like that more boxier, classy lady, cardi look. So this on its own, I'm not really loving the t-shirt underneath right now because it's a little bit, it's feeling a bit too bulky for this sweater. I feel like this sweater kind of can be worn on its own. And I think, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna swap out a tank top for this t-shirt. Okay, I quite prefer this so much more. I don't like how it's kind of cutting me off right here at my widest point. And the jeans are a bit more high-waisted, so I want to elongate my legs in this outfit. I don't always want to, but today I will, so I'm going to tuck in the tank. So with this cardigan, it is pretty elegante, pretty ladylike. So in order to feel a bit more like myself, I need to balance it out with more sharp, masculine pieces. So the next thing I'm going to do, though, is take a more masculine kind of boyfriend style belt to contrast this. And I just tied it in this kind of interesting way here. I am thinking about the loafers again and we're leaning into all the good neutrals. So navy, we've got black. It's a little bit dorky, but I'm kind of also thinking about, again, I love, I love a white or a light colored shoe as a tool in your wardrobe. To me, it just kind of adds this like, interesting pop. Again, they feel a little bit more masculine. They're kind of like, I don't know, I feel like ugly is a way to describe them, um, but in, in sort of a good way. And I feel like that's a little bit more spring-like. And I feel like I need something with a little bit of texture, so I'm gonna grab this bag. So I've just got this croc patent bag. Minimal, chic, elegant, but still me. Look. So I love a good white trouser for spring. These ones are from Lily Silk. They're 100% mulberry silks. Um, they are not see-through. And I really also like that they have this sort of stretchy waistband. So I think these are actually like a really nice work from home slash elevate your wardrobe type of pant. But I want to lean into my word of sporty with these. So when it comes to your three words, I feel like you don't always necessarily have to nail them all three all the time when you're shopping and even when you're styling, but you can definitely lean into one word and use things like hair, jewelry, accessories to make that piece feel a bit more like the word that you wanna lean into. So in my case, it's gonna be sporty. And I mean, I'm really liking this kind of black and white look, but I feel like I wanna actually go a little bit more monochromatic, feel a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna swap the tank top here for a white one. Maybe we'll go with a t-shirt. All right, I'm liking that. If this was summer, I would just throw on a sandal and call it done. But since we're in spring, I'm going to pair this with some sneakers and some fun sporty accessories to make this feel a bit more casual. Pretty chill. I don't like how boxy this is feeling. So 
I'm just gonna do a front tuck. This is such an easy hack to, just like if you want to bring back some definition to your waist. In this case, it's elongating my legs because I have lifted up this sight line here where, and the shirt's no longer falling and cutting me off at the widest part of my hip. Again, I don't really mind that, but this is just all things to do to play with proportion. It's another way that you can actually use big slim skin because the t-shirt is not quite over, it's not huge, but it's not slim either. So this is another way that you can kind of do that to create a little bit more shape here. I actually really love the contrast here with a very like elegant chic silk pant with something as casual as a samba and a cotton t-shirt. I'm just gonna throw on my trench coat here. I love it, super chill monochromatic, but I do feel a little bit overwhelmed. So I'm going to big slim skin it and pull up my sleeves here. And if you wanna just make them stay, all I do is fold the sleeve over and then roll it up. And in general, it will stay where I want it to, which is past the elbow. I think that just always looks really cool and chic. I'm gonna do my round Ray-Bans just cause they're a little bit more relaxed. I want a tote bag for this look. I love it. I feel chill. I feel relaxed. I still feel clean and elevated. That's everything I want to feel when I'm getting dressed. And this was a piece when I saw it on the website, I was just like, wow, wow, wow. It's very, very kind of like retro 70s vibes. It's 100% silk. It is so comfortable. Be advised though, you definitely need nippies with this. Uh, I would not go bra free without this. I would not go pasty free without it. But I think this is very kind of minimal, chic, elevated, elegant, perfect for like wedding season coming up or if you have an event to go to. And I really, really like the kind of silver metallic vibe. I wanted to show you how I would kind of edge this up a little bit so that it would fit my style because right now it feels very, very pretty. It still very much honestly feels like myself. I think it's very minimal chic. This is something I 100% gravitate towards, but I just always feel like I need to add a little bit of toughness, edge, sharpness to my outfits, so we're gonna do that. First thing I might try is adding a belt. And I'm gonna kind of put it to the side, I don't know. We're throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks because not everything needs to be a banger. This is how you experiment. Mm, yeah, see, I don't know. I kind of like the belt, but at the same time, it feels a bit too harsh and contrasty, so maybe not. I feel like a leather jacket might feel a bit too obvious to try to edge it up. And I don't know if I wanna lean into that. So I think actually all I need to do is grab my oversized blazer. Yeah, I like that. And then with the shoe, I mean, I feel like metallic on metallic on metallic will just be too much metallic. Um, I mean, we can try it. So I have these slingbacks from Sam Edelman that are so comfortable. Let's just see what it looks like. I mean, honestly, it's cool. It's kind of a vibe, like a little Star Trek, I don't know. But I mean, I love the oversized blazer sort of draped over the shoulders. Very kind of brings back a little bit of masculinity, a little bit of sharpness to the otherwise flowy situation. And it really plays as the big element. And I would just throw on a pair of sharp sunglasses. The oversized blazer immediately makes it feel like me. And then I just have this little pop of green, which I think is kind of nice in the clutch. I've also just thrown on these earrings from Pamela Card. Again, silver on silver, but I think silver is my color for sure compared to gold anyway. So I really like that. So I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it gave you some good ideas on how to implement your own three words into your style and how to build an outfit that reflects them and reflects you every single day. You gotta kind of play around with things like proportion, texture, color, and balance in the outfit and also play around with things like contrast to be able to create an interesting outfit that reflects your three words and feels really cool. Don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up. It's a great free way you can support me. Subscribe if you want more and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.